Hello Home Instead team, I'm Chaplain Robert Terrell and this is your May 8th, 2023 Monday Motivator. This week I have been struck by an interview that I saw with Michael J. Fox. Now, some of our team members, when you hear Michael J. Fox, you instantly know who he is and some of our team members you might not know. At one time in 1985, he was the it guy. He, he literally had the number one movie uh, in the U.S. box office, which was Back to the Future, the number two movie at the U.S. box office, which was Teen Wolf, and a top TV show that he was starring in, which was Family Ties. He was a, a big name comedic actor, and he's still done lots of other things, but that was like the heyday. What he's known for quite often now, though, is, well, when he was 30, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Now, some of you have firsthand experience with how horrific Parkinson's is. It's usually diagnosed with people who are 60 years old or older, but he's had it for 30 years. It's a degenerative neurological disease that affects everything from, from his speech, making it difficult for him to be able to speak or to be able to be understood, to his, his physical movements, to his balance, it even will dictate the number of days that he has left with those that he loves. It's, it's horrific. And Michael J. Fox is somebody that many of us have been able to watch go through the disease. And he's gone through it with, with nobility and grace, uh, doing the Michael J. Fox uh, Foundation, which has raised over a billion dollars to help fund research. It's pretty incredible. But the interview that I, I watched with him was from the CBS Morning Show with um, Jane Pauley, and it was pertaining to his life getting ready for a documentary that's coming out. Actually, it's coming out the 12th of this month called Still. And he talks about suffering with Parkinson's. And he, he made this one statement that just really, really has stuck with me. He said, with gratitude, optimism, is sustainable. Now he went on to expound upon that a little bit to tell what he meant by that. He said that you need to be able to find something you're grateful for and something that you can look forward to and then you need to carry on. Now I'm looking forward to the documentary truthfully to to see him describe what he means more by that but what I do know is is that my faith teaches me that we are to be thankful in all things and what I've seen in my own life and I see in other people's lives is well, even though my suffering is not the same as Michael J. Fox's, I also understand that pain and suffering are not a competition. It's not who has the most that gets to determine what that looks like. We all face difficult circumstances and we get to choose whether or not we will be grateful, whether or not we will look forward to something and whether or not we will carry on. That's why, again, my faith teaches me to be grateful in all circumstances. It dictates the way we respond to the suffering and the pain and the hurt that we very realistically face. We still have some control even in the midst of what looks like there's no control. And that control is to choose to be grateful or not. What is it you're grateful for and how does that shape how you live out your daily life. I would love to hear about it because I feel like sometimes when we tell each other what it is we're grateful for, we learn once again all the more why we're grateful for that thing. My contact information is always at the end of these videos. You can reach out to me at any time to tell me what you're grateful for or even just to call to have somebody to talk with as you deal with what you're dealing with. I hope you also remember from last week that we are gonna be doing a movie on June 30th coming up for air that deals with mental illness and those who, who struggle with it and love people who struggle with it. Uh, this will be at the Green Bay office, so if you're in the Green Bay area, you might want to consider going to it. I'll leave a link to that uh, in the description of this video. I'll also leave a link to the, the interview with Michael J. Fox. But if you remember nothing else from this video, what I hope you remember is this. Our CEO, God cares for you, and that's something you can be grateful for. And so do I. Have a wonderful week. Bye.